Yeah, so round two, Doki Doki Literature Club. We got to the big turn in our uh, first session. It was uh, pretty crazy. This game's very good. Um, I'm interested to see how it wraps up with what the ultimate message is going to be. Um, but so far, I'm kind of surprised and a little disappointed that it appears to be so popular in like the the kid faction, you know, like the Five Nights at Freddy's crowd. Like, clearly there's some messages getting crossed there. It's not, I mean, yeah, there's some crazy shocking stuff that happens in the game, but the shocking stuff is pretty serious. I don't know, some people's kids, I guess. Let's go ahead and let's get started here. We just started a new chapter. Seems like Yuri's gonna be the next one to go. I'm not entirely sure if Monica's torturing all the other girls, but I think that's what's happening, given that Sayuri doesn't exist in this universe. Jaden is still at school. He'll be home in 30 minutes or so. He might pop in, we'll see. I care or anything. Still getting the Cinderella stuff too. All this determination. I really appreciate that the sanity stuff is random. I think that was a good decision. You can still have some authorship in there but then players aren't going to read into why did the eyes pop out after that specific line you know hey Sasha, how you doing <laughs> determination is just a word <laughs> interesting Thanks, Undertale. Yeah, the fact that you needed to clarify that, right? <laughs> Any plans today? Some things have a higher chance of occurring. Gotcha. I did, uh, yes. I'm about three and a half hours into it. Electric kettle. Dookie dookie. Whoa! Okie dokie, dookie dookie. Because of her long legs, she appears elegant and methodical. I love that they're still doing the dating sim stuff. It feels extra gross now. It's achieving its purpose. English sucks as a second language because it doesn't really have rules. Or we like to pretend that there are rules and then we break them constantly because of all alone words. I before E, except after C, except basically never. Creepy hallway, creepy laughing. Uh, here we go. Cutting herself again. And they rewound all the dialogue. You can see that music does a good job. The lack of context-sensitive uh, music cues, I think, enhances the game. I suppose that's true. Mandarin, it can be hard. Mandarin's such a tonal language. You can feel like you're speaking it correctly and be completely wrong. When I was younger, I would come on really strongly and get a little too intense. Made people not want to be around me. Sort of hating those things about me, my obsession with certain hobbies, the way I can't control myself when I get too excited about something. Just 
stop trying to talk to people. Yeah, been there. That's actually, Yuri is a lot closer to Andrea's problem, where she starts to realize that people kind of tune out and get turned off by her excitement about science. So she just stopped being excited about it. And it made her feel awful. Has Monica been acting off? I think something sharp she's around. Her eyes. Just want to stay here, just the two of us. Stay here until the club ends, then we'll have the club room all to ourselves. Nobody to interfere with our reading time. Nobody to make me feel like stabbing myself in the throat. It was a joke. I'm starting to see Sayori in the background. See how beautiful knives can be. Hm. Or is that Monica? Can't really make her out very well. Nobody deserves to be lonely. It's Monica. Cool. See you, Ratchet. No need for us to be around Monica's slimy tongue anymore, not to mention that other pathetic child. Does that sound perfect? It's everything we could ever want. Isn't that why you joined the club in the first place? It's almost like it was fate. Now we get the happy ending that I patiently waited years for. Can you do that with me, Marston? <laughs> ah, this game. Your Yuri suck up poems. I'm just gonna make you read mine. I wish I hadn't have to do this. I don't have much of a choice. Read it carefully, and you can go away. I don't know how else to bring this up, but there's something I've been worried about. Yuri's been acting strange lately. You've only been here a few days. You may not know what I mean. She's not normally like this. She's always been quiet and polite and attentive, things like that. This is really embarrassing, but I force myself to suck it out. The truth is, I'm really worried about her. But if I try talking to her, she'll just get mad at me again. I don't know what to do. I think you're the only person that should listen to. I don't know why. Please try to do something. Maybe you convince her to talk to a therapist. I've always wanted to try being better friends with Yuri, and it really hurts me to see this happening. I know I'm going to hate myself later for admitting that, but right now I just don't care. I just feel helpless. So please see if you can do something to help. I don't want anything bad to happen to her. I'll make you cupcakes if I have to. Just please try to do something. Yeah, that's... You've known someone that you're close to that's struggling with depression or anxiety or something, you can really feel helpless and feel like trying to help makes things worse. And the absolute worst thing you can do is to say, hey, if you ever need anything, I'm here for you. Like, it's such a low effort thing to do, right? It's the equivalent of thoughts and prayers. And it seems like it's a nice thing to say and you can really mean it, but what you're really asking them to do is, you know, you take the initiative to seek me for help. In the meantime, I'm just going to chill and assume you're fine, even though you're not. As for Monica, I don't know why, but she's really dismissive about this. Like, she just wants us to ignore it. So I'm mad at her right now, and that's why I'm coming to you with this. Don't let her know I wrote this. Just pretend I gave you a really good poem. I'm counting on you. Thanks for reading. Interesting. Change my mind. Ignore everything you just read. There's no point in trying to do anything. It's Yuri's own fault that she's so unlikable. Can you hear me, Marcid? You would spend more time with Monica, all these problems would go away. You and I are too messed up for someone as wonderful as you. Just think of Monica from now on. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Okay, because she talked, broke the fourth wall earlier talking to us. Interesting. <laughs> Just Monica. Well, everything about it. Sure, I don't care. This game makes me feel... really gross. No, gross isn't the right word. I feel really uncomfortable playing this game, if that makes sense. Like, not in the same way I felt stressed playing Papers, Please. This game gives me, like, a heaviness in my chest. <laughs> it's really good. The game can make you feel that way, right? I think that's the intent. I even touch myself while reading it over and over. I give myself paper cuts so your skin oil enters my bloodstream. 
Yeah, I wonder if I go in and say, what if I say kawaii? Kawaii. Don't ever do that again, Marcy. What the hell does this even say? Is this actually legible if you try hard enough? It's a good way to set you up for a jump scare if you lean in really close here, try to make it out. Ugh. I think it's a little bit more than that. I like the eye effect, it's cool. I wrote it for you, in case you couldn't tell what the poem's about. Endowed it with my scent. <laughs> Give me a vomit. Good job with the eyes. Let's say I didn't warn you. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts. Is this game really the brainchild of just the 120XDX guy? Maybe he got some help with the art and the music? Or are there multiple creative writers for this game? I think it's easy to be cringy when you're writing stuff that's supposed to represent insanity or mental illness and just get it wrong and just say blood, 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 you know, be very cliche and tropey, but I think this game actually does a really good job of that style of writing. Did the music himself, someone else did the art. Interesting. That stagnating air comment again. make cupcakes. Glad we're on the same page. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Decoration. It's like last time. Gotcha. Cupcakes, please. Like you would fucking know. <laughs> you and Monica. You guys can type exclamation point hide before a message, and then I won't be able to see it if you want to talk about stuff that hasn't happened yet in the game. I'm trying to make as much of it a surprise as humanly possible. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's a cool effect. If I move it towards anybody else, the mouse drags towards Monica. <laughs> uh, this is a good game. Yeah, you picked me. Being unreasonable. Can't believe how delusional and self important you are. Pulling Marcy away from you every single time you're not included in something. Are you jealous? Crazy? Or maybe you just hate yourself so much you take it out on others. If you considered killing yourself, it would be beneficial to your mental health. I feel like she might be quoting Monica there. Can we not have that? It's all Silent Hill all of a sudden. I felt this good my whole life. Addicted to you. Is he gonna die if I'm not breathing the same air as you? Not really. Madly in love with you. Every inch of my body, every drop of blood is screaming your name. <laughs> Pull your skin open and crawl inside of you. I like how the protagonist kind of stops talking in this section. Hmm. 
I'll go with no this time. <laughs> wow. <laughs> hey, Samus returns. I love the volume of text here. That happened. Oh, skip. Wow. <laughs> Holy shit. Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> this game, man. This is part of what I was, I was hoping they were going to use the skip as part of the narrative design space at some point. Metal Gear style death monologue. I wonder if they want me to do this, basically. Is this actually escapable, or am I required at this point? Oh, it looks like her eyes are changing color. Okay, it is escapable. Oh, maybe I'd have to load and make the other decision. It went on just long enough to be un like super uncomfortable from just a game design perspective. Oh, oh, haha, <laughs> well that's a shame. <laughs> I realize the script is broken that badly. It's breaking the fourth wall some more. Yuri deleted successfully. Remove Natsuki. <laughs> they stop existing. It's 1200 text boxes. Can you hear me? Is it working? Oh god. Hi again. Welcome to the Literature Club. We already know each other because we were in the same class last year. Wow, the window effect's pretty crazy. I know, right, Yukipo? Way darker. You in the game, whatever. I'm talking to you. Uh, okay. I was hoping they were gonna do something like this. It seemed like the early game was asking a lot of the questions about like whether you're role playing when you're playing a dating game, right? They're expecting you to do some level of self insertion. Yeah, that's fine, Johan. Go for it. Or at least, if people want to discuss stuff, they should be as vague as possible. Like, I can't wait for the thing that happens about three hours in, or the thing that's happening soon, as opposed to... I can't wait for specific details of that event for people that are trying to enjoy it blind. Also, if you're in... Uh, if you're a regular and you're trying to enjoy this game blind, you can set up a word blacklist. I think it's better TTV. It might be native to Twitch. Somebody can test it. But you can blacklist exclamation point hide so you as well can't see it. Turn that on and off. And you paid a little bit more attention. This would have been a little less awkward. Oh, that's out of the way. I guess I owe you an explanation. Not that whole thing with Yuri. I can't even advance the text faster anymore. It's interesting. I started the mess with her and I guess you just drove her to kill herself. Okay. Also did that to Sayori previously. Yep. They were good at planting that. Deleted all their files. Hope it was enough to me to make them as unlikable as possible. For some reason, nothing worked. It's true I made a few mistakes here and there since I'm not very good at making changes to the game. 
matter what I did, you just kept spending more and more time with them. You made them fall in love with you. Not making her more and more depressed would prevent her from confessing to you. Amplifying her obsessive personality backfired too. Force you not to spend time with anyone else. What cruel game is this? All the other girls just programmed to end up confessing to you while I watch from the sidelines. It's torture. Not just jealousy. It's more than that. I don't blame you if you don't fully understand. Because no matter how kind and thoughtful and considerate you are, you'll never be able to understand one thing. I hate knowing how alone I really am in this world, in this game. Knowing my friends don't even have free will. Knowing what's really out there in your world forever out of my reach. And now you're here. You're real. Here with me forever. We start to become more and more gray, more and more flat. Even the most expressive poems felt empty to me. Probably saved my life. I don't think I could have continued to live in this world if I hadn't met you. How could I miss them? <laughs> A group of autonomous personalities designed only to fall in love with you. Weird inevitability etched into the game. I feel bad you had to witness nasty things. It's all just a game. I knew you'd get over it. <laughs> I wasn't expecting them to take that angle. Virtually the light in my world. Can you go out with me? <laughs> yes. Wish I could save here and load. There's no point in saving anymore. Don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> ah, that's interesting. I guess I can skip back to this sequence if I load my game after this. Watch it just autosave there. Totally just autosave there. <laughs> Waiting for it to come back up. That's clever of them. the game way to be scared of commitment. So happy, you really are my everything. Funny part is, I mean that literally. Just the two of us, we can be together forever. It'd be great if after this, you could just boot up Doki Doki Literature Club and Monica's just staring at you. The game wouldn't give me one, so I had to make one myself. The script is broken. Classic schmoes me. Folder called characters in the game directory. Interesting. So they're doing something like one shot. <sighs> game directory. Let me check where it is on here. To re-enable my desktop capture command. I think I cleared it out, expecting one shot to be one of the only games to do it. Browse local files. Characters. There's just one that says Monica, not character. Uh, so maybe I could have saved them earlier in the game. That's interesting. Let me try. Let's see what happens if I delete her here. She mentioned that it's different on Steam. Oh, I didn't see that. <laughs> I just went to go look at files. Didn't 
come to that. Finally got a good ending. So I can delete her character here. <laughs> That's cool. Did you write a good poem today? Don't be shy, I'd love to see what you wrote. Undertale? Yeah. Happy end. Pen in hand, I find my strength. Encouraged doubt upon me. Encouraged doubt upon me by one and only love. Together, let us dismantle this crumbling world and write a novel of our own fantasies. With a flick of her pen, the lost finds her way. In a world of infinite choices, behold this special day. After all, not all good times must come to an end. I'm going to quickly show you guys what I'm about to do here with desktop capture. Let me turn it on really quick. Thanks for not spoiling that I would need to do this. Not that one. That one. The memento. Okay. You guys ready? Bye bye. I'm gonna move her file somewhere else. See if it reacts immediately. <laughs> What's happening? What's happening to me? Please hurry and help me. Monica.chr does not exist. <laughs> Did you do this to me? in a second. That's pretty sweet, yeah. Never let anyone be as horrible as you are. Killed everyone. I hope you're happy. There's nothing left now. You can stop playing. Go find some other people to torture. I wonder if you can start the game, like uninstall the game, reinstall it, and delete Monica from the beginning. Completely, truly make me sick. That's it? It's kind of interesting. <laughs> so let's see if we put her back here. Still love you, I can't help it. What's wrong with me? How horrible am I for you to hate me this much? So many selfish and disgusting things. I shouldn't have done any of this. I'm just messing up a world that I don't even belong in. What world do you want to be a part of? That's why you deleted me, because I destroyed everything you wanted. I do that to someone I love. It's not love. Made up my mind. I always said I deleted everyone else, but that was kind of an exaggeration. I couldn't find myself to do it. Even though I knew they weren't real, they were still my friends. You hid them somewhere? The literature club. I'm watching the character folder over here to see what happens. If you look, the character folder now has Natsuki, Sayori, and Yuri, but not Monica. And she's not on the title screen now. Interesting. Cool. I 
Felix Jahn. I guess I could put Monica back, right? Hey, Sayori is back. Waking up on time. Yeah, that work works for me, uh -huh. thank you. I think this dialogue's pretty close to the same as before. Spoiled on deleting thing? What are you talking about? I don't follow. I didn't save a copy of Monica. It might still be on my clipboard. No, because I did a control X, control V. Whoops. I have seen that coming. Basically the same as last time, but it doesn't have a skip option, which is interesting. I said I'm glad I wasn't spoiled that I needed a display capture. Yeah, so far nothing's been spoiled in chat. I've been delaying looking at it long enough that you guys have been clearing it in time. Learn my lesson from Undertale. All right, this is a little different. What does Yandere mean? I've never seen that word before. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. This is the same as last time. Love sick. Okay. People find it appealing? Ew. Same as last time. Don't say manga. Sure. Oh, she's the president now. Gotcha. Monica was the president previously. <laughs> Makes me happy that you've done that for me, Yuri. So alone, so yeah, me too. This is so cute. Show you some manga there too, okay? You gonna sit? <laughs> Told you, man, just say something. Don't wait for me to turn my head. This is my nephew, Jaden. He's played this game before. He's being very good about not spoiling stuff. Meeting's over, huh? <laughs> Hi, Marty. <laughs> How dare the youths be so young? You joined the club. I knew you were going to. It's actually something else. I want to thank you for getting rid of Monica. <laughs> Maybe it's because I'm the president now. 
<laughs> Whoever's in the role of the president. Forever. Oops. I won't let you hurt him. Let me get my character's file. There's no happiness here after all. Goodbye. Goodbye. How was school, Jaden? Pretty good. It's pretty good. You got any homework? No, not really. Uh, can you hear me? <clears throat> Voice acting. Hi, it's me. Um, so you know how I've been like practicing piano and stuff? And not really any good at it yet, like at all. But I wrote you a song. And I was kind of hoping that I could show it to you because I worked really, really hard on it. So, yeah. So, yeah. www.allergyclub.org An actual file in here that I can edit. Ranky, I think was where it's still. In my hand is a pen that will write a poem of me and you. I guess I'll do desktop capture. You can see what I'm doing over here. Silence.org. What was the name of the file she described again earlier? I forgot. Do you remember what it was? I'm gonna try renaming this to her song name. Concept and Zane Game Design, Dan Silvato. DDLC.org. I think that's right. I like that they're deleting the names here. Work. Just should, you know, back to silence. Worth a try, knowing this game so far. It was all Dan Salvato as a writer. Interesting. Oh, that's super creepy. Those images? Ugh. Ugh. It's really gross. A nice wholesome game. Is it love if I take your is it love if I set you free? The ink flows down into a dark puddle. How can I write love into reality? If I can't hear the sound of your heartbeat, special thanks, Monica and Marston. Pretty great up there in the corner. I'll leave you be. Made with love. It's like one shot. Finally, understand literature club is truly a place where no happiness can be found. At the very end, to continue to expose innocent minds to a horrific reality, a reality that our world is not designed to comprehend. Can't let any of my friends undergo that same hellish epiphany. For the time it lasted, I want to thank you for making all my dreams come true, for being a friend to all the club members. Thank you for being a part of my literature club. Everlasting love, Monica. Please reinstall the game. <laughs> so, presumably, if I boot the game back up, turn on display capture again. Oh, there's my one shot save file from before. You should play one shot, Jay. If you like this game, you'd like it.
This is my final goodbye. Script file is missing error code. Please reinstall. Okay, so we'll reinstall the link. Which means I have to delete the game. And I have to go get it from the store again, right? Because it doesn't, since it's a free game, it doesn't stay in your library if you uninstall it. Serious lack of anime waifus. Coming. Oh, as soon as it mentioned going to the character file, I totally deleted it immediately. All right, let me do this off screen. I don't think there's anything in the store that's sensitive, but just to make sure. I wonder if this frustrates Steam. If they got a heads up that people were going to be uninstalling and re-downloading the game repeatedly. Well, we got some time for it to reinstall. No, it's not too bad. Yay, Comcast. Now look at all these. Given that it's free, I'm sure this is on a big list of people. Oh, there's instructions in the readme. Inspiration for Weepstead. This game is a little condemning of uh, the Weep stuff, so not so much. I'd have to play a game that's celebrating it rather than condemning it, I think. Oops. Yes. Alright, so I'd like to try what happens if I open the game by immediately deleting Monica. I wonder if it actually deletes it when it asks you on the title screen as well. Fifth or sixth highest rated on Steam? I don't know if that's warranted. All right, let's see what happens if there's no Monica from the get-go. Yes, it is more complicated. Backup. I don't have my display capture now. Making a backup folder. I have moved them to a backup folder. I've basically deleted everybody to see what happens here. I think we're going to give Bros that another try here. It just says end if you load it. Interesting. It does not. It just says end and then Siori's dead on the screen. They are, yeah. It's something you can only really uniquely do with video games. I'm surprised they went that direction. I feel like it could have been a really strong game if it just ended with Siori killing herself. And then it's just like you can try to reload the game repeatedly and take different dialogue options, but it always ends that way. Maybe it makes some sort of commentary on the fact that it knows that you keep reloading and trying to fix it and it doesn't work, you know? And everything's just normal again. It's... I guess it's a different game in that case, and it becomes more of a fourth wall breaking game. And what happens if I only delete specific characters? Deletes all your saves after Sayori's suicide. Interesting. Oh, really? Like if you had saved before that, I see. Interesting. Okay, I just deleted Monica and Monica only. Really? Yeah, I think. I like the game, but I kind of wish it would have stuck with the original theme instead of becoming more about um, the fourth wall breaky video gamey thing at the very end. 
I was super on board with it up to that point. It's still cool, but it kind of sacrificed a really good message it had, I think, about halfway through and got a little silly as a result. Monica's still on the front screen, even though I deleted her from the character file, so we'll see what happens here. What is this? Oh no, no, this can't be it. This can't be all there is. What is this? What am I? Make it stop. Please make it stop. <laughs> Doki Doki Literature Club has stopped working. We get end again. <laughs> I remember her commenting about saving. Sure, I mean, I guarantee you that was their original design, but I think I would have preferred it if it had the other message. If there's enough games that have done fourth wall breaks right now, you could have done it a little bit to kind of represent the fact that it knows how stressed out you are about trying to bring her back. Oh, now all the characters are gone after I just deleted Monica. That was all you wanted me to do after finishing it? Okay. Cool. This game was really good, though. I really liked it. My comment wishing that it was more about the depression and the way it feels when someone you know either commits suicide or succumbs to depression and feeling like what you could have done differently and playing back through it. Um, that's just a different game that I thought this was going to be. Um, the fourth wall breaking stuff is still cool. I still really like it in Undertale. I still really like it in One Shot. Um, but I think it would have been a little bit more concise if it had stuck to that original message. Thank you for sharing this game. Like I said, it made me feel uh, awful <laughs> while playing it. Um, and games that make you feel things are good, right? Like I felt pretty awful playing Shadow of the Colossus, uh, Silent Hill 2. Undertale really moved me pretty hard too. So um, games are, I think, are uniquely positioned to really put you in the action. I think this game did a really good job with it as well. I'll be back in a little bit. Since we finished early, we've got some time for Dead Cells. So we'll see you after a short break. Let's cleanse with some Dead Cells. <laughs>